Ever wonder what you should expect at your first day at ATP? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through starting the airline career pilot program here at ATP Flight School. Let's get into it. <laughs> What's up you guys and welcome back to Taking Flight. If you're new here, my name is Ethan Gregerson. I'm a student at ATP Flight School, currently an instrument rated private pilot. And I have a channel dedicated towards helping flight students and creating aviation content. In this video, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be talking about starting the program at ATP Flight School and what you should expect on your first day, as well as what you can do before you start to get ready for it. So with that said, I'm gonna split this video up into two segments. The first one, I'm gonna talk about what you should expect at your first day. And the second one is how you can prepare for your program start date. So let's get into the first one, which is what you should expect on your first day at ATP Flight School. When you first sign up with the program, you'll be assigned a class date, which will be your first day. On your first day, you'll be assigned a time through your calendar to arrive at the training center for orientation. And you'll be expected to one, be in proper dress code and have all of your materials and books with you. When you arrive at the training center on your first day, you'll go and meet the training support specialist at your training center, and then you'll be directed to go and join a Zoom call for your orientation. Orientation is about an hour long, and they'll go through things like what you're expected of as a student, what ATP will do to help you with your training, as well as some other things like their company values and things like that. At my training center on my first day, I completed the orientation with the two other students that I started with. But keep in mind, actually at some of these training centers, you might be the only student starting on a specific day. This kind of threw me for a loop because I thought there was gonna be like 10 students starting with me. But my entire class on the day I started was only two other students and three including myself. So just keep that in mind. And then also keep in mind, if you're the only student starting that day, it's really not a big deal. The rest of your first day from there will probably consist of a lot of studying, flying or doing a sim. So with that said, expect to fly on your first day of school. On your first day, there's a lot happening and it can definitely be overwhelming. So let's talk about some things you can do before your class date to be prepared for your first day so it goes as smoothly as possible. The first thing that you can do to make your first day go very smooth is just to have all of your documents done. You're gonna receive like a billion emails from ATP getting you ready for your first day and as long as you follow those to the T, you'll be totally fine. But just make sure to check for details like making sure your medical and driver's license names match up perfectly. Also, if you're coming in with your private pilot's license already, make sure your logbook is totaled up and you have all of your certificates. The second and the biggest thing I would say would help you a lot starting at ATP is just to have all of your exams done. The program is very fast paced, which is something they advertise, and I will say they're very good at it, but written exams are just so hard to fit into the schedule. If you can just dedicate six weeks before your start date to actually knock out your written exams and get all of your ground knowledge done, the rest of the program will be so much easier and you can really focus on flying. I personally didn't do this, although I wish I did, but I did come into the program almost ready to take my instrument rating written exam, and that's why I finished instrument in just five weeks. Which, by the way, is really fast because ATP says seven weeks. <laughs> but, but right now, at the time of filming this video, I'm in even more of a pickle because I have four written exams to complete in like two weeks, which is not easy. So do yourself a favor and get all your ground knowledge and your written exams done before you start. The last one should be pretty obvious, but I feel like no one really pays attention to it, and that is get organized. ATP is gonna send you a massive box full of all sorts of training materials, and if you wanna see what those are, you can check out my last video about the ATP Flight School unboxing. And do yourself a favor and go through that box and organize your stuff. Put everything in your flight bag, find a place for your headset to go, things like that. The more organized you are, the easier the program is gonna be. As far as preparation goes, if you follow the emails that ATP sends you, you're gonna be just fine, but just make sure you're reading through everything and paying attention to the little details. Hopefully you guys found that helpful if you're starting or interesting if you're not. If you like this content, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see more content like this. But right now, signing off for now, stay safe, stay proficient, and we'll see you in the skies.